Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. Today we are preserving eggs eight different ways. I'm going to split this up into three separate videos. Uh, one of them is going to be uh, more like heat jalapeno sriracha's uh, type of eggs. One is going to be beet eggs and then one is going to be beet eggs. <laughs> and then one is going to be um, just regular like fermented versus uh, pickled eggs. Already have them all hard boiled. The next step is just going to peel all of be to peel all of these, and I have four dozen eggs here, roughly. I couldn't fit them all in the pot, um, so it's probably more like three dozen, and we're just going to get started. And I think with most of these, you want to be careful when you're peeling them uh, because you don't want the egg yolk to be exposed. It somehow contaminates it or something. I'm not sure exactly, but it's, yeah, just gotta be careful. Okay, so we got all of the eggs peeled except for five, which didn't quite make it. But you can see, maybe, it's cooked perfectly. It's cooked all the way through and there's no gray on the outside. I think I'm gonna use this way of cooking it from now on. Um, so like I said, I just put it in the pot with the cold water, brought it up to a boil, let it boil for two minutes, turned off the heat and let it sit in the hot water for another 12 minutes and then put ran cold water on top of it and that's how we got it. Got to figure out some other way to get them to peel a little bit nicer but they're cooked perfectly well so we'll see about that one. So I'm going to get this all cleaned up and get ready to move on to the next stage and I'll bring you back then. The first batch of eggs that we are going to do is going to be this, the hot and spicy ones. So I want to figure out how many eggs I can fit in a jar. I think five. So actually, I think that's perfect. So what we're going to do first is dice up an onion. just going to put the onions in the bottom of this jar. That might be all I can fit. And then I got a jalapeno. secret ingredient here. Some already fermented jalapenos. And the brine from it. Probably a little more than I need. Uh, you totally don't need to have your own fermented jalapenos. I just want to have a little extra inoculation into the start of this. And then um, you can use like sauerkraut juice or you can use whey or any kind of fermented brine that you have. So that's all we're really gonna do in that. Along with some salt, oh my eyes. Gonna add about a teaspoon of salt, more of a heaping teaspoon. Looks like four. Uh, 
I gotta come up with something better. I need to use bigger jars. six in there along with a bunch of other stuff. One more salt and we're just going to top this off with water. And there we have the fermented jalapenos. Next we're going to go ahead and do the pickled jalapenos and when we're doing that we're going to go ahead and use two of our jalapenos. So we're going to take two of the jalapenos and half of this big onion. So into that, we're going to add way more vinegar than we need, but about two cups of vinegar and some salt. And then we're going to bring this up to a boil. And we're gonna let it boil for probably about five minutes. I'm not really going off of an actual recipe. I just looked up at a bunch of them. I didn't particularly care for any of them specifically, uh, but kind of the idea of it was that you do this. I don't know. And I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of brown sugar. Next up is the sriracha. We're just gonna put some sriracha in here. Maybe like that much? About that much? And... Oh, the jalapeno. And garlic. So I think I have enough garlic to do about two cloves per, um, per jar. And these are just going in the fridge, so I'm not worried a whole lot about uh, leaving room or anything. Like that. Okay. Sriracha jalapeno pickled eggs. cooled off enough. Now we're just going to add eggs. So with this one, what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it out on the counter overnight and then put it in the fridge until the morning and let it go for probably about, uh, I don't know, four or five days. We sh we'll see how long it actually takes. And the sriracha one, we're going to do the same thing with it. We're just going to leave it on the counter. Oh man, the yolk popped out. We're going to have to fix that. And then, um, like I said, this one we're going to go ahead and also leave on the counter overnight. 
and then in the morning we'll put it in the fridge and let it go for uh, anywhere between three to five days. And with the jalapeno pickled eggs, or with the and with the jalapeno uh, fermented eggs, we're gonna leave this one on the counter for, um, we're gonna start checking it in about three days. Um, I usually like to let the ferments go for a long time, but I'm kind of nervous given that it's eggs. So we'll just see how it goes and we'll give it a try in a few days. It's been about three and a half days since we let the eggs go to go to ferment and pickle. And all right, so the sriracha one first. It's pretty good. I think that would definitely complement um, deviled eggs or something like that. For sure, it would definitely give it an added flavor. Pickled jalapeno. Not a very strong flavor. It, it definitely has some vinegar and some jalapeno taste to it, but it's not very strong. All right, now for the fermented jalapeno. That one kind of just tastes like hard boiled eggs with a little bit of oniony-ness to it, but that's about it. So I think these ones are just not ready yet. Uh, it's like I said, it's been three and a half days. I thought for sure that they would be done or molded or something horrible would be wrong with them. So I'm going to go ahead and let these ferment for a couple more days and I'll bring you back when we're ready to try these again. It's been six days since we left the eggs to ferment and to pickle, and I think they're probably done now. So we're gonna go ahead and open these up, take, give them a taste test, and we'll, go, we'll see where they're at now. So this one is just with jalapenos and eggs. Oh, sorry, <laughs> jalapenos, onions, and eggs. And I'm gonna try and fish one of these out. It was a challenge last time. are pretty tasty. They definitely have a, bit, a little teeny bit of heat to them, not a whole lot. They, they're still very vinegary. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they're pretty good. They don't leave any kind of heat flavor in my mouth or anything like that. So that was pretty good. I'm probably still going to just keep it in the fridge. This was refrigerator pickle. So I'm just going to keep it in the fridge and eat it as I want. This is the sriracha one. Maybe the sriracha one, if I can get it open. Ah. My goodness. Ah, I gotta go get that one. Very mild flavor, not a whole lot of heat. I like it, but I would probably figure out a way to give it a bit more heat. I almost wonder if maybe if maybe if that was uh, canned and it heated up a lot more and the flavors and the spice was able to actually get into the egg a bit more, I bet that would be much tastier. Okay, so now this one was the one that was lacto-fermented. Last night my husband and I were sitting on the couch talking and um, apparently I did not crack the seal well enough and it decided to crack itself. So it's char fully charged and loaded. So I'm gonna be careful opening this one, even though it already broke the seal, so I'm sure it's fine. But just to be safe. Ooh. It's bubbling like crazy. like opening a can of soda pop. It's crazy. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> I think I got my nose a little bit. Okay. Oh. Woo. That is loaded. All right, I'm looking forward to this one. Not much change in flavor at all. This one is the mildest one by far. So 
So these ones, if you're looking for heat in the egg, probably not going to do it. Uh, the jalapeno one, like I said, is, a, is quite vinegary. So it's got a little bit of a kick to it, just a bit, but it's more vinegar. The sriracha one, I think would have done better if it had the liquid in there had been heated and able to penetrate a bit more, but it was still good. And the lacto-fermented one, um, other than having lacto-fermented benefits to it, I don't see, I probably wouldn't make this one again. But. Thank you for tuning in and watching. I hope that you take the time to watch the other two videos in this series. I'll link them down below. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.